Hello, I am Casey Bell, and I'm here to review the uh, Chip Maker. It is by the Chip Maker Prophecy of the Beast. It is by Bridget L. Collins with Terry E. McGee Sr. Um, that is the cover. Oh, it's not all that good. I'm sure you can't see it that well. Anyways, so I actually interviewed this author on my podcast and she sent me a copy um, so first things first as you can see it's not a thick book not non thick books are my favorite I like to read it get to the beginning and end get to the point of it I'm not a fan of reading long winded books especially when most of the stuff that's in the book is not necessary in my opinion to tell the story of the book so it is straight into the point um, if you know anything about the um, messages Christian, Christians teach about the second coming of Jesus, the Savior, or as people call it, the rapture, and you know anything about the um, chip that has been discussed, some people call it conspiracy theory, um, where at some point you're going to have to wear a chip in order to pay for everything, and if you don't get the chip, you won't be able to pay for anything, and it is said to be, people believe the chip is considered to be the mark of the beast, um, if you know anything about that. And this book is the author's version of what she believes will happen in the future. Um, I don't want to give away too much, of course. I don't want to spoil the book for anyone who hasn't read it. I don't want to tell you about it. I just want to review it. So I personally give it a 5 because it's short and sweet and to the point. And I also give it a 5 because um, I like to be surprised when I'm reading a book. And it definitely surprised me towards the end. Um, it starts out, if I'm not mistaken, because I read it a while ago, it's either, it starts out with three individual stories or four, I don't remember the exact number, and you're not, I don't know if I should say this, I don't want to ruin the book, you don't know till you get towards the end that these are not individual stories, they, these stories are connected in some type of way, I'll say it that way, that they're not individual stories, these are, stories are connected, and it's basically, it's the big it sh it shares the beginning of the government enforcing these chips and deceiving people into getting these chips um and it shows people who are against it and choose not to get the chips and what happens um the consequences to those who get the chip and what happens to those who don't I mean, that's the, the, the easiest way I can explain the book without giving out too much. Um, I guess that you can say the theme of the book is for those who believe in the Bible, that the, the chip that's in the, that they believe will be given out is not a good thing to get. Um, yeah, other than that, I just enjoyed the fact that it was short and to the point and the fact that when you get to the end, you find out some more connections it's how do I say it's deliberate there are some things happening towards in the book that you're not aware are deliberate until you get to the end of the book and you find out connections between the characters that are introduced to you and that's the surprise when I said I enjoy surprises that I enjoy because when you're reading at the time you're reading you really don't know who these people are and when you get towards the end you find out who they are and how they were deliberately placed um, by some of the characters in the book deliberately and you don't know that till you get to the end so that's The Chip Maker by Bridget L. Collins I enjoyed reading it like I said it was a quick read I believe it took me like two days to finish the book um, it's only about a hundred and something pages less than two hundred um, yeah, and it gets straight to the point, and I enjoyed reading it. And I would, and if you are a believer, um, this book would definitely be interesting to you. If you're not, you might not necessarily care for the book. It's still a short and quick book, so it's not like you're wasting much time if you choose to get it, if, especially if you're one of those speed readers, which I am not. I'm working on getting there. I am not a speed reader. It does take me time to read books. So that is my review for The Chip Maker by Bridget L. Collins.